President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy Dr. William Ruto have urged Kenyans to fully embrace the unity pact with former Prime Minister Raila Odinga, focus on development and support the war on graft. The president reiterated his call on Kenyans to disengage from constant politicking and instead focus on development. The president also announced that this year's Madaraka Day celebrations will be held in Kajiado County. At the Damanga one-stop border post, Deputy President William Ruto was at hand to welcome back President Uhuru Kenyatta, who was in Arusha, Tanzania, attending the Heads of State Summit meeting. Addressing crowds of several stopovers along the Nairobi Namanga Road, the President said he forged unity with former Prime Minister Raila Odinga so that leaders can dedicate their time and energy to serve Kenyans. Tumesema siyasa ya mgawanyiko na fitina na ukabila iyo siyasa Ibaki nyuma wa Kenya waende mbele. Sinikweli? Ndiyo munaona rais ameunganisha wa Kenya wote. Ndiyo tuweze kutembea barabara moja ya usawa na amani na maendeleo. Tulienda handshake, sio kwa sababu ya siyasa. Tulienda handshake ndiyo wa Kenya wakuje pamoja. Tulienda handshake ndiyo kama wa Kenya tupambane na ufisadi. Tulienda handshake ndiyo kama wa Kenya tulete maendeleo watoto wasome. Tulienda handshake ndiyo kila jamii iheshimu jamii lengine. Au ni namna gani? President Uhuru Kenyatta now appears determined to rain on cabinet secretaries and top government officials who are not keen to implement the Big Four agenda that will be part of his legacy. On Thursday, Uhuru read the Riot Act to cabinet secretaries to toe the line or face the sack. Wewe kama huko tiari kufanyia wananchi kazi na jukumu lako ni siasa piga about turn vijana niko nao wengi ambao wako tiari kufanya kazi The same Thursday Secretary for Communication in the Deputy President's Office David Mugonyi asked a section of politicians who have started early campaigns for a Ruto presidency to hold the horses and focus on the big four agenda Yetu sisi ni kazi Wakuje hapa kitengela Wawaulize nyinyi shida yenu ni nini? Wawaulize tabu za kitengela ni gani? Na sisi kama serikali tutawasaidia kwa njia gani? With less than 45 months remaining to end his term, the president is concerned that succession politics will derail his legacy. This explains the recent executive order that saw Interior Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi assume the role of Chief Minister supervising his colleagues. Kama siyasa yako ni story, muende story upande ngine, Lakini serikali ya Uhuru Kenyatta ni ile ambayo itatimiza ahadi ambazo walipatia wananchi wa Jamhuri ya Kenya. Period. The 20th head of state summit of the East Africa community held in Arusha ended Saturday where Rwanda president Paul Kagame took over as the new chairperson of the AC from President Yoweri Museveni of Uganda. The president encouraged the border communities to live in peace and take advantage of the various East African community treaties and facilities to engage in cross-border trade. Patrick Amimo, KTN News.